Let's finish up the technicals here with Bitcoin as a selected cryptocurrency. I'm on the weekly chart on Bitcoin and the way I labeled um, the, the actual cycle and the performance of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin is basically um, with a 1, 2, 3, 4 and extension in the 5th of 5th for this, thus completing a super cycle black 1. Yeah, so I'm Bitcoin. I'm, I'm on Bitcoin US dollar right now, just so you know. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay, we're gonna take each wave, yeah, step by step. This piece right here, this piece right here, this entire piece right here, and then of course, the most important part the surge, the rally for the extension in the fifth of fifth. So, without further ado, let's let's just jump on it, yeah. So, what I have here is basically let's say for instance a chart which which is basically which starts from 2001 but as we, as we know bitcoin was introduced to right after the 2008 recession yeah so clearly this this is basically a one and then this correction right here we're gonna zoom into this piece as well one two and then the basically the rise in the third wave and a clear um, a clear A, B, C, D, E um, contracting triangle right here, followed by the extension in the fifth wave, thus completing primary one blue. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five on the upside intermediate waves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here, yeah, and we can actually see from uh, basically from there where let me let me just see. Okay, zero is right here, yeah, and we started with the first wave, then correction. And a sharp correction wave two, and then we actually we are going on the on the upside, yeah. So let's let's just see one, two, three, four, and then of course the fifth uh, the fifth wave, yeah. So the thing is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into that piece right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the thing is that we have an A. B, C, D, E contracting triangle in this four, and this obviously cannot be a one, two because it's a triangle. Yeah, so I labeled it as the fourth wave, and then we're going on the upside with five legs basically one, two, uh, three, four, five, then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so let's see. Basically, no, this is actually one second. This is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And this is, will be the three, then four, and then the fifth wave. Yeah. So basically, we've just completed primary wave one. Now, right after that, we're basically contracting right here in primary two. And how we contract it basically from uh, this wave one topped out in 2000 to 2013. Um, basically, exactly the first of December, yeah. So we went to the downside with an A, B, and then an ending diagonal in intermediate C red, thus completing primary two blue. So we have a one, two, three, four, five in an ending diagonal. Yeah, I can clearly see how the lines are actually converging right here, and then of course. We started uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually topped, let's say, the lowest, lowest low in 2015 was basically for, uh, um, let's say, the 151, 100, yeah, 150 something uh, tops. And then we went on the upside with intermediates green. Yeah, one right here, then two right here. So what happened here? We have a flat formation, an A, and then a three in this B and then basically the C wave, okay? So we've completed, we've basically completed the intermediate to green. Now we're going on the upside right again, of course, yeah? And how we're going on the upside, we're going in a channel. Let me just show you what I, what I have here, okay? So for intermediate three, we're going basically, we went with the first minor one, then minor two, then minute one, two, Three, four, and overlapping. Yeah, even if it's even if it's overlapping, it's just a 
shadow and wave 4 in a channel it usually breaks the channel this is a quick tip here okay and then we went on the upside with the final spring for minute 5 that's completing uh, minor 3 then contraction ABC sharp correction here in minor 4 followed by the last last basically the final rise in the fifth wave the minor scale thus completing intermediate free green and then intermediate four green obviously as you can see ends in the same price action territory of the previous uh, wave four over the SP three which is the minor yeah now the point is that from from these from these points right there yeah we're still going on the upside to complete primary three and we went in obviously in one two three four five five waves sequence followed by a divergence right here of course and then it started contracting with a complex wxy structure yeah because the uh, second wave primary scale as you noticed it was a abc with an ending diagonal yeah so basically let me just arrange the chart here for you guys a little bit okay all right so we can actually see the correction right here yeah w with a three in it and then x and then a basically this b and then basically continue with the five wave sequence in that um in that y with an a b c yeah and a c now what's next is basically a very big uh, a very big rise yeah now what i wanna what i wanna actually show you guys is basically let's see i'm gonna download a daily chart right now yeah so what i want to to actually show you is also these uh these two things let me just zoom out here yeah okay now why i label this as a two yeah also fibonacci Fibonacci retracement 78.6 right here, so couldn't possibly be uh, some type of fourth wave because it actually overlaps with this. So if this was a one, two, and then three, and then this will be the fourth, I mean, the, the rise after that would be so justified from an Elliott wave perspective. Yeah, following up with another point, with another point right here, let me just zoom in. Okay, there we go. This entire swing on the upside, yeah, for this free, had a 38.2 retracement, yeah, for this WXY, which is basically typically typical for a uh, wave four. Therefore, uh, I've marked this as a primary four, yeah, on the primary scale. And now this is the interesting part, yeah. We started like Bitcoin started a, a very very aggressive uh, rally. Yeah, so basically from when it, when it bottomed at 1,900, something like that, started going up. And by the way, this is this is basically the point when I analyzed, uh, I was analyzing this, this structure, and I did post a possible uh, bullish outcome. However, I was like, I was expecting 12,500 right here. Yeah, let me say 12,000, where is it? Yeah, somewhere around there. I was I was actually targeting with the analysis as as per the Fibonacci extensions at twelve thousand five hundred and then the contraction. But it so happened that the, uh, a very big extension occurred. Yeah, so it went all the way up, basically uh, towards twenty thousand. So let's let's just see what I what I actually have here in this in this primary five blue. Um, we have the first first wave one and then the corrective two in an ABC, yeah. Um, and we have here, I mean, or what I mark here is 161.8 Fibonacci extension from one and two, which is basically determining the target for a third wave. So I mark this as an intermediate three, yeah, this green three right here. Then the corrective four, which is also basically not overlapping with wave one so so far so good okay now next what I have of course is the extension the rally in the fifth of fifth as you can actually see within an ending diagonal right there so I'm gonna zoom in right there for you for you guys to see and the Fibonacci extension so of course we are in a, an extension of this of this five 
So basically from 3 towards 4, the extension had obviously, as I said, very aggressive 261 per Newton of Fibonacci extensions. So yeah, from, from 3 to 4. So let's just let's just zoom into that to that piece. Yeah, so I'm gonna zoom into that piece right here, and then we'll, of course we'll analyze together this uh, complex corrective pattern right here. Okay, so let's just just let's just jump on. Right. Okay. Let's let's basically shrink in here with a uh, with a twelve chart. Okay. So from wave from wave uh, four, yeah. Uh, this is an ending diagonal, so the scenario is basically A, B, C within 1, minor 1, then A, B, C within 2, A, B, C within 3, and then again another contraction, and then the last squeeze with a, basically with the overflow, breaching basically temporarily this um, upper trend line for the contracting, I mean for, for the rising wedge, and as you can see from 1 towards 2, Fibonacci extensions 61.9 yeah so this and this kind of like this area um, kind of synchronize for obviously a bearish divergence to occur yeah as you can actually notice now moving along what I'm gonna do is uh, as you can see we have five waves on the upside as per this uh, wave count yeah we have five primary waves which would mean that We've completed one cycle, so this representing cycle, well, cycle wave one, that black one right there. So, further on, yeah, how we went on the downside for this correction is is basically with a with, with an A and then a B right here in a running flat and then a C wave one two three four five yeah for that for that piece right there for that A. For that primary A, so therefore, okay. Now, as per this, um, per this Fibonacci uh, Fibonacci line, yeah, Fibonacci extension, sorry, Fibonacci retracement, from zero towards this uh, this point right here, we have some Fibonacci uh, lines right there. 38.2, which was basically touched and then breached. 50%, which was basically touched and then we returned and this is a possible continuation towards let's say 61.8 maybe if if we were to if this would if this would be indeed a second wave yeah so let's continue now the corrective the corrective piece of this swing on the downside would represent this B yeah and as you can see it channeled from a WX basically towards 100% uh, for this uh, A, B, and then C, which could also be labeled as an ending diagonal, in other words, yeah, as you can actually see, it's a C wave, so it has the right to have an ending diagonal. So, yeah, now, how we went on the upside, with an A, B, C, yeah, and then the structure became a little bit complicated, so this was not the entire thing. Then it went on the downside. As you can see, it actually it actually hit 61.8 right here. And I'm going to explain to you guys a, a bit how to use these lines. And as you can see, I'm not basically removing them after, you know, because this 61.8 is basically from A towards B with an actual extension. I'm, I'm, I'm actually keeping them because it kind of uh, kind of determines also reversals for the, for the continuation patterns. And I'm gonna give an example right now. Okay, I mean this piece right here. Okay, so it's uh, once once you have let me say a breakout, you would expect some sort of flag or a corrective pattern, and then you would finalize around there. Yeah, sometimes, most of the time, that's that's basically the scenario, and it kind of works for me. Now, moving on, right? We went on the upside, so basically we've completed this this piece right here. But of course, for, for the pattern to work out, we will need this type of structure. Yeah, that's what I would be looking for. So I'm looking for a zigzag, in other words. Now, the road on the downside, the continuation, is basically, I'm going to zoom in yeah, as much as I can. All right. So as per that channeling, uh, as per this channel, yeah, 
this broke up and then read first on the upside right here and then it's possibly continuing yeah that's basically what I'm seeing personally so yeah I mean th this piece right here I'm, I was actually thinking could this be a triangle like an A B C D E running contracting triangle so this could be an A this could be a B and then of course basically on the downside the C wave yeah or um, or basically let's say for instance we could force a W X Y right here yeah so could this be the uh, the end of the structure because the point is that from the upside from the upside there yeah I have the Fibonacci uh, extensions from A to B I have the 61.8 we broke through it we had a 100% which is kind of touched yeah as long as it went I mean the C wave would have gone beyond the end uh, of A it could be considered as you know uh, the structure can complete and it at any point however you know we have let's say for instance from one towards two right here we have some fifths 150 percent almost touched yeah so we could consider that but also very very close to the 100 percent of a and b uh, primary yeah the red, red primary a and b so point is is this the end of the structure is this the end of the correct yeah well let's just let's just see here because if this was supposed to be the end of the uh, of the entire structure so this would represent the entire C wave and this would go one two three four and then five yeah if this was supposed to go like that um, even if this was supposed to be an ending uh, sorry a leading diagonal in a one yeah doesn't really look like an ending it looks like a leading diagonal yeah that's that's for sure plus we have a running contracting triangle right here A B C D E this could only be a B or an X yeah in this uh, in this three three wave structure so one two three okay now which leads me to think that this could possibly be a fourth wave yeah so the way I labeled this C wave is with minor scale one two three four no overlap and five in an ending diagonal that's completing intermediate one intermediate two basically retraces 38.2 of intermediate one and usually um, if wave two represents a shallow retracement such as 38.2 wave three would present an extension yeah so as per the fibs from one towards two we have the 150 percent here uh, reached yeah so this could be a freak in other words this this entire piece so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna basically show you how I label this. So we have an impulse one, A, B, C in the second wave minor scale, then extension in the third wave. It's minute one, two, three, and then four within the triangle right here itself. Then the last squeeze on the downside for the fifth wave, thus completing this minor three. But then again we have another triangle, yeah, in the fourth. So this can only be uh, like a fourth wave after a drop like that okay and if, if let's say the drop would happen more drastically I mean this could have gone a little bit like like more like this yeah if it was supposed to be a B wave in a triangle so it's a four because it took a lot of, sorry less, less less time to develop and the last squeeze on the downside of course fifth wave thus of course you actually see divergences not really there okay hence the reason why I think that we could uh, we could possibly we're not really uh, there to the actual bottom and that's my personal opinion not to mention that we went on the upside right here in, in three waves sequence which can only be uh, corrective in my eyes and from three towards four with a Fibonacci extensions yeah from this this piece right here we can see 100% right there okay so let's zoom out and see where does that point uh, point me okay so as i said in a second wave we would expect 61.8 let's say or 78.6 if it's a very deep retracement yeah from a towards towards b we would expect 100 percent or 161 150 percent from one towards two we already have this uh this Fibonacci hit and from three towards four 
we would expect, let's say, for instance, um, either 100%, yeah, because 61.8, it's already, it's already, I mean, went below it, yeah, so you would expect at least 100%, okay, let's say, for instance. So is it going to be 100%? Is it going to be 150.161.8? That I do not know. Okay, it's only left to, uh, to to be seen. Now notice that this it should we have an extension in this fifth wave, yeah, as a, as a bearish extension. This will also, I mean, these Fibonacci's will also, let's say, um, align with some other other type of other other Fibonacci's. Okay, so this is basically what I have in mind so far. Now the point is that if the correction is done, okay, if the correction is completed, and we, uh, we basically Bitcoin would not provide one more swing on the downside, yeah. So it, it will it will just start going up. What it what you know how uh, how it can behave that would impress me and basically make me think that the correction on the downside will be complete would be of course if this starts shooting up and then gains support uh, maybe gaining support on this uh, um, on the lower trend line of the channel yeah therefore of course I would be expecting another uh, rise and continuation because if, if the correction is indeed complete and I'm expecting Bitcoin, uh, honestly and personally speaking, I'm expecting uh, Bitcoin to, let's say, reach a possible 40, uh, maybe 50k uh, within the next uh, two to three years. Yeah, maybe maybe even one and a half year. We'll see. But the point is that, in my view, for instance, uh, the correction might not be over. Okay. So well, basically, what I'm, what I would be waiting for, is a possible uh, a possible drop and continuation just to convince me that wave two on the cycle uh, the basically cycle wave two could be actually complete okay now nevertheless here we did have that divergence of course yeah I did post uh, an article right here on that piece and another one right here on this piece and continuation updates done on these piece right here in which I actually asked a question could Bitcoin go to 9,000 basically the price was uh, was around uh, 17 and then 15 yeah thousand back then so I said could could Bitcoin go to 9,000 uh, what will happen then uh, and then following, following up with another question could it go with uh, I mean to 4,000 3,500 yeah and from there, from from that moment on, it actually went to nine thousand uh, something. Okay, so uh, it's left to be seen. It's left to be seen. Yeah, we'll see if it's if it's really gonna um, surprise uh, some people by let's say possibly topping a uh, five thousand. We'll see seventy point six, sixty one point eight. It it needs some attention. Yeah, because this is a point of interest and this is this is a clear consolidation right here as you guys can see I know the chart is messy but as I said but in all this mess for me it actually makes perfect sense anyhow um, uh, this this type of uh, charts and updates and uh, you know following up uh, are actually posted on the on the site so you might as well look into it or, um, and also if you want to join the webinars you're more than welcome okay so that's that's it for um, for Bitcoin let's move along